Welcome back everybody. Today I'm doing a review on the Gentle Giant WonderCon 2012 exclusive 3D Yoda mini bust. When Star Wars and Lucasfilm decided to recreate all their films in 3D, I could not have been more excited for number one, I get to see the original trilogy in 3D, and number two, Gentle Giant was planning on this 3D line of mini busts. And I'm a huge Star Wars fan, huge General Giant fan, love all of General Giant Star Wars pieces. But unfortunately, Disney just kicked us all to the ground and said we're putting everything 3D out of the picture. As upset as I was, I'm really glad we got to see at least one film in 3D and get at least one piece of work from General Giant with the 3D line. I know it's been quite a while, just you know, never got around to actually reviewing this piece and never had my blog up when I first got this piece. Um, so today let's look at the exclusive from 2012. Like I said, this is a WonderCon 2012 exclusive when WonderCon is in Anaheim and General Giant just did a fantastic job with this piece. And I do have the older um, Empire Strikes Back Yoda as well to do a little comparison. And I'll start off with the comparison first. Overall, they're pretty much the same size. You know, they seem to be almost, actually, no, not really the same sculpt. Um, the robes are a little bit different. And you can see on one of them, the robes are a little bit more or different shaped. Not, you know, neither are bad or one's better or worse than the other. And you can see the head sculpt is a little bit different. The Empire Strikes Back Yoda is actually a little bit darker. Um, I'm not sure if. General Giant was going with the Phantom Menace Yoda on this one. Um, I didn't really look into the color change. And Yoda, of course, granted, you know, one they used the puppet, one they did CGI. So, you know, you can just say Yoda got a little bit tan over the years. Um, but, you know, basically the same size, the same height. And, you know, just differences. And you can see he's a little bit more bald in The Empire Strikes Back. So it could assume that this is the Phantom Menace version. Um, so let's put that to the side and get a closer look at Yoda. So as it is a 3D version, he has the 3D glasses, which are removable. That is just really cool. You know, they have the clear um, plastic for these. It's very simple. Nothing too much going on it. Well, let me try to get that in focus. There's nothing much on it. Just trying to get that, you know. And you can see through it and you can see clearly. You know, just really cool. You can have him wearing it. You can have him, you know, kind of put it up on his forehead. And he has that scrunched look like he's enjoying it and focusing on the film. So, you know, I do like to keep him with the glasses on, you know, just to keep that movie theater vibe. And that's just really cool. Now let's get a closer look at the actual head. It's in the very Yoda-like. I mean, General Giant never fails at head sculpts or detail. And they got all the little wrinkles in here, and you can actually feel them. They're not just painted on like some companies do. You can feel all the wrinkles around the mouth. You can feel the different textures and the tones on here. And even the green, it, as, you know, from a distance might just look one shade of green. But depending on the light and depending which way you look at it, you can really see all the different shades of green that make up his face, around his neck. You know, it's a little bit lighter here. Um... And you know, around the hair too, the hair is a little bit green, but you know, has that whitish, grayish highlights to it. And that's just really cool. And again, these aren't painted. These are, I mean, they are painted, but each sculpt of the hair, you can feel every little strand. So that's just really cool. And you can actually feel that. So you know, again, General Giant just doing a fantastic job. And with his popcorn as well at Obi-Wan Cinemas here. The popcorn, just, I mean, but nice buttery golden popcorn. The Obi-Wan Cinemas, the marking right there. Just perfectly fitting. You know, of course, it's about half his size as well because Yoda is so small. And there you can see he has a popcorn kernel right in his hand, if you can see that right there. About to munch on a piece of popcorn before enjoying the movie. And, you know, they did a really great job sculpting the hand to go around it and this hand kind of holding it as well. And the robe, let me actually bring back the other um, Yoda in. You can actually see the robe is a little bit darker on the 3D version. Um, actually, I wouldn't say darker overall, just more, I guess, 
threading and more creases here. So they did really good job on the detail on that. Really focused on a lot. You can, you can see more reddish, brownish tones here. Um, where this one is more, I guess, cleaner, if you want to say. And you can see too underneath here, the uh, garment he wears, you can see that still. He does not have the necklace like he does on here. Let me try to get that off his neck to show you guys. Kind of hard to get it. Um, the flute necklace. Um, of course, he has that in Empire Strikes Back and not in Phantom Menace. So, And his cane either. So, you know, he's just sitting on the movie chair enjoying his film. And another closer look here. You know, you can see the uh, torn uh, garment here, which actually is the same as well on the Empire Strikes Back. So, you know, they just did a really fantastic job. And, of course, on the bottom has the uh, number. This was 1,147 out of 1,200. Um, and it also says General Giant, LTD, Star Wars, Yoda in 3D Glasses Collector Mini Bust. Special Commemorative Edition. So, you know, nothing really ever to complain about from General Giant. Just always doing such a fantastic job. Um always pleasing the fans, always bringing something new and unique to the Star Wars fans and now, you know, Marvel fans, Hobbit fans, Walking Dead, just overall just loving everything they do for us. And I'm happy to be a supporter and happy to see what new pieces they come out in the future. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoy and check out this piece on Amazon. You know it won the con 2012 being two years away. You might still be able to find some on Amazon. Um, best of luck if you do and Best of luck in the future if you for your future Gentle Giant endeavors. Alright, thank you.